Yeah. Alrighty, guys. Farina was kind enough to sponsor another video. So this is a floating corner shelf. Um, we'll put a link for it down below in the description. And, of course, with Farino, their idea or their saying is fits your space, fits your budget. It actually fits space, fits budget. But I like saying fits your space, fits your budget. Because, like I said, I got like seven of these and it was like less than $160. Seven items total. And most of them have been really easy to put together. Uh, real simple. This one, I don't think is going to be an easy one to put together. I'm going to be, going to be upfront and honest about that. This one's got a spiral in it. And it looks like it's going to be more difficult than the other pieces. I'm just saying. I, I could be wrong. But uh, I'm, I'm guessing it's not going to be easy. Well, it's going to be easy. It's just not going to be as easy. Okay, did we get everything out? Everything except the instructions. <coughs> we can set it here for our trash can. Out, so I can put all the trash in there. Alright, so we, what do we got here? We got a whole bunch of these uh, corner pieces here that are pie shaped. They don't taste very good. And those are all labeled the same, so they're going to be the same. Uh, see, these ones, are, three of them are C, all four of them are C. So you got squares. Oops, I'm sorry, you got two more squares. Oh, this one's A, this one's different, and this one is A. Okay, so these two, those, and these. So it's basically three different size pieces. Uh, I can see right now this one's going to take some screws. Oh, which I kind of expected. Uh, I, I really like some of the other furniture that didn't take any screws. So, hardware number three is going to be, uh, looks like, uh, yeah, uh, drywall. <laughs> Let's see, we got uh, hardware number one, which is going to be some screws, and there will be flip heads. And then piece number two is going to be some caps to cover stuff up. So <clears throat> let's look at the instructions here because this is spirally, diarily. Uh, no, what's his name? Steve. Steve did not make this. Uh, someone got that. Someone. Comment down below if you got that. Yeah, okay. This just shows how old I am, right? Okay, so step one, attach all that stuff. Okay. Step two, attach it to the wall. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Drill your holes into the wall. Step three, attach it to the wall. Okay, so uh, step one is basically the whole thing, right? All right, so... <coughs> We're going to need a whole bunch of screws. Let's go ahead and get those out. Uh, it doesn't say anything about the caps, and we can worry about the caps later because I'm sure the caps just go right on the screws, and we just need to put it together. Uh, okay, so piece one uh, it says finished side. Inward towards you, towards you. <clears throat> and then we're going to take B. Okay, it shows B as being like this. This this is what's going to make this difficult is that we have nothing to balance anything on. All right, so that's not right because there's no pre-drilled. Oh, there we go. Unfinished side up. Okay. And then get those lined up to those pre drills Go ahead and get those fingers started for now. And then we can go ahead and tighten these, right? I don't think we're going to need everything else to move. And actually, this probably wouldn't have been bad to have started from the 
top and worked our way down. But, I don't know, who cares? All right, so then C, you need C, and the finished side facing in, and there's pre-drills on both of these. So, uh, it's going to be, oops, finish side in towards the center, right? Yeah, finish side in towards the center. Uh, go ahead and put your screws there. And then line them up to the pre-drilled. Get them started. Um, just say anyone is using oopsie. anyone that's using a heart tool and, and uh, curious about what I put this at. I put it at nine. Uh, that way it doesn't get too tight and doesn't shred through the uh, particle board. Um, <clears throat> if you're not comfortable with power tools, maybe use hand tools. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. All right. So then we're going to go ahead and continue on with the pie. And that's going to go on top of C. Line that up with the pre-drill. Yeah, get that into the pre-drilled hole. Come on, guys. There we go. Ooh. Okay. Now, once you, once you get those in, just go ahead and put your fingers on it. Make sure it's flush and level and where it needs to be, right? And like I said, if you're not comfortable with power tools, stay away from it. Don't do power tools in unless you're comfortable with them. This is going to hang in the corner, so. All right, so now we need it to be upside down again. <coughs> Which this is where it gets, you know. All right. Oopsie. And am I in the pre-drill? I'm not. Where's the pre -drill? There's the pre-drill. Okay, we'll go ahead and push that here, and yeah, I should have went from the top down. Ooh, I just scratched that. That's all. That's all right. It's just going to be in a corner. It's going to have things sitting on it. I don't care. So you should. I should have started from the top and worked my way down to make those screws a little bit easier to get into. All right, we're going to go ahead and lay it on the side here. <clears throat> and the next step is going to be again to get these lined up. Actually, it doesn't spiral, does it? I thought it spiraled. That wouldn't make sense to spiral and be in the corner, would it? Now it would make zero sense. So my memory was faulty. It's not spirally, diarily. It's just really confusing to, to me. And <laughs> okay, so again, uh, we're going to try to do this as easy as possible, right? Oh, that's A. We don't want A to be mixed up with C. No. All right. Again, fin unfinished side. Towards your workpiece. Put your little screws in there. Get that lined up with the pre-drilled. Lined up with the pre-drilled if you can. I don't think I can on this one. I'm not seeing it. I'm not feeling it. I think I got it. Think I got it. All right. With those started. Yeah, this is why I should start from the top, not the bottom. I'm already most of the way through it, so there's no point in changing what I'm doing now. We only got two shelves left to put on. Right? Oh, 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 wrong way. 
There we go. Wait a minute. No, it's still the wrong way. That's better, honey. Button. Line those free drills. Push it in. Oopsie. <coughs> All right, so actually, hold on, hold on. Yeah, okay. Right here. <laughs> yeah, I'm confusing myself. And did I get it in the pre drill? I think I think I did actually. Okay. Let's see. Liner up here somewhere. <coughs> that was it for C's, so the C's are done. <coughs> and look at that. Look at that. Just do it, man. Just do it. And then line everything up. It's not that hard. Okay, time for the last piece to be put on it. And that's going to be the other A. Which... Hmm. Go okay, right here. Uh, yeah, finish side facing out to where people can see it. I want you guys to get started. I mean, which, which side is the finished side? Which side is the unfinished side? I mean, just look at the other pieces near you, and that'll tell you if you're using if you should be looking at a finished side or an unfinished side. All your finished sides should be in towards you know the shelves and everything else. Your unfinished side should be the side that are going to go against the wall. Okay. She's together. Oh. Alrighty, guys. So you put together your Ferrino, uh, shoot, uh, floating corner shelf. Uh, only thing you got left to do is attach it to the wall. And of course, you got your holes here, right in the center, here, right in the center, here, right in the center. And on the other side, here, right in the center, here, right in the center, and here, right in the center. So all you do from this point is decide which way you want to be up. Uh, it's not going to matter. That's, I mean, <laughs> you can turn it either way. It doesn't matter. Get it up to the wall. Put a little pencil in there to mark your wall where you're going to attach it. Drill yourself a little hole. Put your uh, drywall thing in there. And then screw through here into the drywall thingy. Everything's done. And it's hanging on the wall. That's pretty simple. Now the caps, you can put the caps on if you want. Uh, I'm probably not going to. Because I don't care that the screws are visible. It doesn't bother me at all. Uh, you do what you want. I don't. Yeah, I don't care that the screws are visible. I mean, I might do it on the back pieces, you know, just because, I don't know, it just, it'll depend on if, if I notice them when I'm sitting down. Alrighty, and thanks again for Reno for yet another nice, reasonably priced and easy to put together a piece of furniture. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And again, links down below in the description if you want to check this out. This is going to look great on my wall. And i got to figure out what I'm going to put on it. I, actually, I might not put it where I thought I was going to put it. 
I might put it in the other corner. What do you think? Good. What do you think? Good. You think it goes in this corner or that corner over there? What corner? Yeah, let me check. Mm, I don't know. Because what's back there, we can move over. The picture? No, the other stand. Oh. The other corner stand. We can move it to the other corner and put this in that corner. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Bye.